Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show, brought to you by Overarms, available now at drive through RPG. Uh, before we go into our usual spiel about who sponsors us and how much we love you, our beautiful viewers, let's meet our table, starting with She Vanished When the World Needed Her Most, but now she's back, and if she can master all four elements, she might be able to save the world. It's Mika! Yep, yep! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm R.I.P. Mika. You can just call me Mika, though. Um, <laughs> I've been gone for a while. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a new spot, and I play Dahlia Wingrove. I don't know where she's been for the past three weeks. Steven won't tell me. She's we technically been kidnapped from me as her creator, and maybe I'll get her back this week. We'll see, though. I just spent, <laughs> like, the first five minutes that Dahlia hopped into the call teasing her about having been gone. Yeah, that's all we did. We just harassed her for a few minutes. <laughs> Your mother uh, and I are so worried about you. <laughs> what have I told you about calling if you're going to be out after 10 p.m.? Uh, up next, he's on a very fashionable road trip to Egypt to fight a vampire. It's mostly Eric. Hello, everybody. Um, I am playing Lennox Thatcher. Uh, the former captain of the football team who has uh, the, the goddess Dinkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer, within him. The power and, and all the power that you would expect from that. Don't forget, it's PG-13 show. Don't worry about it. And next up, they Some are... Of the shows a... of the D on, the, on the CW and all of them feature underage drinking as well. So That's true. So I guess it is okay. This episode of New Pantheon Academia is rated TV-14. <laughs> is that is that what our brand is? TV fourteen? Is that our brand? No. no. <laughs> I use the word fuck fairly liberally. We're way beyond TV fourteen. <laughs> We're more of one of those like family friendly HBO uh series. You know, you can watch it with the family if they're okay with cussing. It's fine. But last but certainly not least, they're a uh non binary priest living in the middle of the woods with a talking bear. It's Aki. Uh huh. I wonder if we uh, spend our time stealing picnic baskets from unsuspecting campers. This uh, is a real show, okay? Beer, bear priestess is a real show. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and apparently I am a part of a really weird anime. Um, but I actually play Manny, uh, Emancipation Brown, whose divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and Harmony, uh, they're a little bit of a space get cadet, but they'll do whatever they must to support their friends and their ambitions. Um, unless those ambitions include, like, you know, hurting people for no good reason. Not that we've ever really had a problem with that. So, really? yeah. Fortunately, all of their friends are, like, fairly decent, frequent people. Yeah. And... You might notice we are short and Omega Jones. Our critical bard is running a little late. They will be joining us later, though. So don't worry about that. And Be Right UK, thank you very much for that tip. We can scream at him about being a stranger when he when he hops in. I will absolutely yell at them about not calling me because it's already after 10. And you know how worried your mother and I were. When when we said be home by streetlights, did that, did that mean nothing to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is Eric the mother in this situation? I don't know. I feel like we should keep going. <laughs> Let's move on. As per usual, we are aiming for $250 in tips an episode or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges. Uh, listen, it keeps the lights on. It keeps us paid. It keeps everything going. And if you want more amazing content from us, this is how we could do that. So it's very, very much appreciated. $15, 15 1,500 bits or five gift subs will get you a message read live on air from our beautiful, beautiful announcer who does canonically fuck, which I'm still reeling from. I did not need this information. Oh, that's life, something yet, else you, you missed. Oh, did you miss that? Were you not here for that? I feel like you, you were not. here for that. I, no, no, you were here for that. No. 
I don't think Mika, Mika was here was, for. Well, I don't, I don't like, like it being it. repeated. I don't like being <laughs> reminded of it. Mika was one hundred percent here for it because Mika repeated me when I said it. It's just that it's been a while since it was said, and Mika had the time to forget it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I don't get to forget. Gladys is yum, but her yum is my yuck. Oh. <laughs> Your fun is wrong, Gladys. Your fun is wrong. <laughs> uh, but while we are yucking gums here on New Pantheon Academia, we do want to give some love to our sponsors, Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. Roll20 is a virtual tabletop that anyone can use. It's absolutely free to sign up and free to use. Uh, it has a it has an amazing marketplace where you can buy all sorts of modules that just make it easy to run your games with friends all over the planet. We're not in the same room, if you haven't noticed, and it still works. It's great. 10 out of 10. Um, it's also it's also full of wonderful free tools if you don't want to pay for them. Can't hype it up enough. Can't recommend it enough. I actually use it when we're not on stream. So thank you, Roll20. And we also want to send a bunch of love to our friends over at Die Hard Dice. If you go over to Die Hard Dice's website right now and use uh, the code Save and Throw Show at checkout, you can get 10% off your order. Listen, shiny math rocks. You might think, hmm, I only need one or two sets. You're wrong. You're wrong, okay? You need at least one bag that weighs about, you know, a human head, okay? And this is half my collection, all right? How do you know what a human head weighs? I saw Jerry Maguire in a Preshable H. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can move on. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how many bags all my dice would fill now. I don't want to think about it. I use them for decorating at this point. But yes, you can join us. Uh, Vien Vitar, thank you for the raid. But you can join us in our horrible, horrible dice prisons by going to uh, Die Hard Dice uh, using exclamation point DH Dice in the chat uh, for more information and links. Uh, and remember, Save and Throw Show at checkout, 10% off. And hey, if you're not watching us live, if you're watching us on YouTube or listening to us or, I don't know, doing a VOD here on Twitch, hi, thank you. We still love you. We very much appreciate you. So... But hey, if you could do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe, uh, brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know. I'm not an influencer yet. Ring a bell. Ring a bell. Yes. I don't know what the bell does. Ring it. But it's all very much appreciated. All those things help YouTube's algorithm show, show it that you want to see videos so that they will recommend the videos that you already want to see. Because otherwise, they won't. Otherwise, you're just going to end up watching the same clips from Bo Burnham's uh, Inside again. But this time with chipmunk voices. And I'm not saying that's how I spent my night last night, but that's how I spent my night last night. Oh, no. I'm not sorry. Chipmunk voices? Oh, well, look who's inside of them. No. Stephen. Oh, Mika, ha Mika wasn't aware that I can do an, an horrible squeaky voice and an incredible Mickey voice. Steven, you know you get an incognito browse on YouTube, and then you don't have these things show up when you're recommended. Yeah. And I then, like, also, you don't have to admit them to other people because yeah. you went on incognito. And I'm not aware, but I feel like I deserve this punishment, okay? I feel like I brought everybody. this upon myself, and this is my penance. I'm. Huh. Your I'm punishment is to punish us. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> And hey, don't forget to support us on Patreon. We'll bring this up later. But hey, if you join the Exploration Society, you get amazing merch, pins, swag, one-page adventures. I'm a hobbit. It's great. Check them out today. So with that out of the way, before we get to present day, present time, Mika. Spring semester had come to a close. And while you were invited to come to the Thatcher summer home, you were unable to. Not because you didn't want to, I don't know if you did or not, but because the drama club and the light music club both had a field trip. Your big yearly trip. You were going down to Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, a dream. <laughs> yes, you got to do all the wonderful wonderful, wonderful touristy things everyone does when they come to LA. 
you got to do the Warner Brothers backlot tour. You got to go to the Getty. You got to see the big Hollywood sign and realize it's not that cool up close. But hey, the pictures are great. Yeah. The the Walk of Fame. Yeah, the Walk of Fame. Just step the around. Theater, the Chinese theater. Chinese theater. Okay, I will admit the Chinese theater is still cool. I'm going to stand yeah. by that one. But how did you react when you found out that part of the reason you were being brought down here was to be an extra in an upcoming film? I fainted. Oh. Probably like, like fainted, was revived, remembered what happened, fainted again. <laughs> All right. So Dahlia, you are on the set of the new action spy thriller, Aces on Fire. It's about a pyrokinetic asexual super agent in Las Vegas. But filming in Vegas is expensive, so you're just kind of hanging out inside a big empty warehouse that's made up to look like a hotel. Great. Uh, I'm immediately going to go find the, like, extras handler, the the person that's around to handle the extras. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start schmoozing, because I know that this is how you can get a speaking extra role. And I'm going to start schmoozing and be like, yeah, so I, I, I'm I'm down to do kind of anything, and, and I'd love if you guys had any lines or, like, some featured extras roles that you, you have in the script today or maybe tomorrow that if you'd consider me, because I, I, I will be available at any time. I can cancel all my plans. Go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Let's see how, let's see how well you, this is going to work out for you. Uh, 11. 11. Um... She's going, so the woman you're talking to, she's mid-20s, bags down to here, uh, wearing a shirt that probably hasn't been washed in a hot second, but it's okay because that's just kind of how it works when you work these hours and you don't have a union. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. She goes through a clipboard. Um... All right, are you allergic to chicken fingers? I'm not allergic to anything. And if you need me to cut my hair or shave it off, I am down. That, that, that's, that's not necessary. We just need someone to comment on the chicken fingers tasting weird. So uh, she looks you up and down and she can just tell, oh God, it's one of those kids. Chicken <laughs> yeah, fingers. sure. Okay, listen. Uh, we're going to hand you a plate of plastic chicken. Just pretend to take a bite. Talk about how it tastes weird. And don't make eye contact with the talent, okay? All right. Um, am I speaking at them? Or what's my character's motivation for this? Am I just hungry? Am I eating? Or or was I invited to this dinner with them? Like, what? Um, I'm just trying to get in the headspace. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Here's your motivation. Yes. You're hungry. Okay, and the I chicken can work with tastes that. funny. All right, I can work with that too. I've had some funny tasting chicken. Super. I'm so glad. Me too. Oh boy, I need a dress. I need a drink. I need oh, I need rest. I need sleep. She mumbles as she walks off, and Dahlia, uh, you now have a speaking role yes. in a major motion picture. It is I think again. Oh, oh God. We need someone on set. Where's the medic? Medic! I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just hungry. I'm getting into character. <laughs> immediately, immediately, you wait. Because that's how this works. You hurry up, you get in the spot, and then you just hang out. But eight hours later which to you are the most exciting eight hours of your life and to anyone else who lives in los angeles they are just so boring after a moment you are gathered up on the bus with everyone else and the rest of the drama club is over the moon for you in that lovely petty jealous way that only drama kids can be but they are impressed you got a speaking role <laughs> what are they like wow dahlia that's so you Wow, I'm so happy for you. Oh my God. It's a very you moment, isn't it? It's a little uh, unfortunate that 
you got a job eating meat though because mm. vegans in <laughs> it's passive aggressive moral combat on this bus i just i just love that you don't care how bad a role is you'll just take any <laughs> philosophy that you should treat everything as the most important thing because you don't need to shoot for a specific end goal if you treat everything as the most important thing you are building the steps to a career instead of letting yourself down you keep telling yourself that honey <laughs> i love that for you thank you oh my gosh thank you guys i'll, I'll remember to thank you if i get nominated for anything do you think they have an what I live category? for? <laughs> oh my god, if they have an extras category, you're a shoe in. Thank you. Oh my you're gosh. Certainly the most extra person I've ever met. This is definitely gonna give me a leg up for the next uh couple of musicals coming up. I will say we are only a mere scant week away from a musical. So just throwing that out there. But yes, Dahlia, you get back to the hotel. It is a lovely Motel 6. Because I've never... We all took trips in high school. Did they ever get you anything nicer than like a Holiday Inn? Uh, no. no. I think I, st <laughs> I stayed in a Red Roof. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a... I thought that was a pizza restaurant. <laughs> no. I guess I'm thinking of Pizza Hut. <laughs> I think I just want pizza. <laughs> So, Dahlia, you're taken. The hope the teachers have been very clear. They don't want you guys running around unsupervised. This is a big city. You are a bunch of kids from Oregon. Uh, they just you have plenty of free time during this trip, but they don't want you to, you know, be running around Los Angeles at night unsupervised. So, of course, around eight o'clock, there's a knock at your door. I open it. Dressed up, uh, pretty nice. Not the fanciest, fanciest you've ever seen him. Is uh, Spiro? Oh, um, hi. hi. Sorry, I was just going over my line. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, my my uh, my roommate brought up that you got a uh, part eating uh, eating stick. Chicken wings. Oh. It's pretty big deal. I know. It's uh I really worked up the ladder to get there and it's it's gonna open so many doors for me, Spiro. I mean yeah, no, I'm thrilled. That's fantastic. Uh <laughs> well I was I feel kinda silly now. I was going to ask if you wanted to uh have our date tonight. Maybe, but if you if you're busy, I completely understand. This is very, oh. this is huge. Oh no 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 no! I I I would love to. That would I mean, you you know what they said in that one movie: all work and no play makes um, Dahlia a bad actress. It, isn't that the movie where he uh, takes the axe to his wife? Oh, don't say that! I don't want to hear anything about that. Well, uh, listen, I got I got my roommate to uh, cover for me. I figured maybe you could talk as yours, because uh, the, there's there's something I thought would make a nice, uh, you know, date spot, if that sounds OK oh, to you. How romantic. Yeah, I mean, we can't really get in trouble if we're supervising each other. I supervise you, you supervise me, and then technically we're supervised running around town. It's not really breaking any rules. I love the way you think. Why, thank you. Everyone's being so nice to me today. <laughs> from from the other queen bed in the in the motel room, your roommate looks up from their book with just <laughs> Yeah, that face. <laughs> um I'm going to be right back. Uh, Spear's going to help me run my line. Whatever. 
you know, for my role. Yeah, no, that, you've mentioned it 14 times in the past hour. Well, consider that a 15. Okay, bye! <laughs> All right. So, Dahlia, Spiro takes you to Pinky's Hot Dogs on La Brea. It is covered in famous people photos. It's a, it's a giant pink hot dog in the middle of Los Angeles. It's pretty iconic. <laughs> when we go up to order, Dolly is just going to be like, you know, my photo can be on the wall. Do you want to take one right now? Because uh, I got a line coming up on the big screen. The Armenian man behind the counter just kind of <laughs> makes a face. Relish? Oh, sure, yeah. Plop. Have you ever heard of a, an actor named Jason Statham, maybe? Mustard? Yeah, we're gonna, oh yeah, please, thank you. Uh, yeah, Jason and I are gonna be on screen together. It's, um, it's gonna be crazy. Maybe, maybe that'll lead to a feature film with the two of us. 550. He hands you a hot dog that's mostly relish. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Um, you don't have like a celebrity discount or anything, right? 550. That must be with the celebrity discount, Spiro. Okay, cool. Spiro pays for both of your hot dogs. And uh, he makes sure to get you a fork so you can just kind of find your hot dog underneath <laughs> there. Now, this is great because this is kind of in the same shape of a chicken wing. So this is really thoughtful of you, Spiro. I can, I can kind of like, you can tell me what looks best for a camera. Oh, wow. I only have a couple more days left to be normal like this. And then my name's going to be in lights and, and I'm going to be with the stars. Maybe Jason will, will take me under his wing as like a protege. And I can be in the med too. I thought they would run a third one. I could be in the Meg 3! <laughs> I love how this is your normal. Well, yeah, what else would it be? No, no, I just mean, like, I have a death god, you have a uh, darkness earth god living in the back of your head. So... Oh. My gosh, wait, if Conan was still on air, that would be the best bit for whenever I get my interview with Conan about my scene coming up in this action movie. Like, I could let Persephone show up, and then everyone would be like, wow, she's so cool. It would be like when they called Jennifer Lawrence quirky for eating pizza. I would be quirky because I have a goddess inside of me. Literally. <laughs> He can tell you're sincere and that he finds it adorable instead of what it is <laughs> concerning. <laughs> A little after concerning. You, yes. And after you finish your hot dogs, he asks if he can take you to one more place before you head back to the hotel. Oh, absolutely. I'm always down to see the sights before I can't walk down the street without paparazzi stopping me. You find yourself at the Griffith Observatory. And with the lights, with the sundown, you can see the lights of Los Angeles all the way out to Santa Monica. And it is truly a breathtaking sight. Are we allowed to be here, Spiro? The sign uh, on the road said closed. 6 p.m. I I gave the security guard 40 bucks. Oh. That's... You're we gotta be out of here in an rich. hour, but... Wow, that's crazy. $40. Okay. Eh, I was going to use it to buy a souvenir, but uh, I already got Lenny a hat. Oh, he's gonna love it. I really like how enthusiastic you are about everything, Dahlia. Oh, um, well, I, would, I, I wouldn't really 
I call it enthusiastic. I, I appreciate you saying that. I'm just being as real as possible and, you know, taking life by the horns. Well, no, no. Damn, I wish. Uh, I wish this wasn't my second language. Um, Passionate. Oh. I like how passionate you are about everything you do. Well, what's what's living if not being passionate about anything? Why keep it all pent up? I don't know. I figured it's kind of an American thing. You let um, it all pent up, and then you go go maybe, uh, maybe jump off a roof. Men. Yeah, maybe for the men. Oh, masculinity is a prison. Yeah, a lot of the American guys are. They don't cry at all. Do you cry? Hmm. All the time. It's a good exercise. <laughs> Never considered it that, but uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, a good exercise. You're going to laugh at me for this, but this is, this is my first date. No, absolutely not. Are you, really? Yeah. Well, I think it's been a pretty great first date, if you ask me. Has it? Hmm. I've also not been on any dates, except if you count uh, Tommy, we called him Tommy Two Shoes, because he only had two pairs of shoes, and I dated him at summer camp when I was eight. But I don't consider that, because uh, it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> I, uh... Well, I mean, if I have to fight Tommy Two Shoes, I'll do it. I will, I will throw down with this eight-year-old who only has two pairs of shoes. Wow, that's a little concerning, but also kind of romantic. <laughs> Well, I assume now he's a teenager. I, I, I hope he's not perpetually eight years old forever. Maybe he's got three really, shoes now. Yeah, I hope so. I hope he has at least three shoes now. <laughs> you share a laugh over with this breathtaking view. A security guard standing about 50 yards away, making sure you aren't stealing anything. Checking his watch every couple minutes because you guys get 30 minutes before he kicks your asses out of here. Sha la 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 la, my oh my, <laughs> look like the boy too shy. <laughs> Spiro is going to smile down at you. May I kiss you? Wow. Being asked in the moonlight in Los Angeles by a handsome guy that I've had a crush on for so long. If I want to kiss him. Uh, did I just say that out loud? Oh, uh, yes. Please kiss me right now. Stop. I can't stop talking. Just kiss and me. And he goes for it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the following day, you say your line about the chicken fingers as Jason Statham, the asexual pyrokinetic super spy, uh, you know, has a huge fight scene that you're all left before they bring in the stunt double to do it for him. And uh, that's how Dahlia spent her summer vacation. <sighs> She's going to be a terror on the flight home. I want everyone to know. Do you guys have like a first class upgrade? I, I was in a movie with uh, my friend Jason Statham. How yeah, great really. for you. Now get off the tarmac. This is Burbank. We don't. Come on. Come on. I'm on just the plane. a little jet lagged. I just would really like more leg room. Uh, Dahlia, it's Southwest. They don't have first class. And also, it's the same time zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's. And uh, yeah. So we pick up after summer semester has finally kicked in. And like any rainforest, you got a lot of weather. <sighs> it's 
nothing like sunny Los Angeles. <laughs> the four- <laughs> I don't know. I really like the way that the water makes everything look greener somehow. This is just not gonna work. What's not gonna work? Living here for the rest of my days. Well, is that ever the plan? The City of Angels is calling me, Manny. I don't know. I always took you for a New York girl. Well, New York didn't give me a line in a feature film with my friend Jason, so... Have you even been to New York yet? No. <gasps> what if that's where I can get a second line? What if that's mm. where I become a Broadway musical star? You don't know until you try. Kim puts down her juice box sitting across from you two in the cafeteria. You are aware they're probably just, that they'll probably just ADR you, right? I wouldn't do that. I, I delivered it perfectly. I had the best. I, I, I just had it that day, you know? Come, it's just, I think the kiss from Spiro helped. And the what from who? And how, what? Oh, oh, damn. You guys finally kissed. Yeah, we kissed. It was very romantic. He rented out the entire Griffith Observatory for me. How rich is that kid? Super rich. He paid a security guard $40. Oh. Uh, Kim is going to point a t thumb over to Lennox. Well, he has uh, four known hot tubs in one of his houses. Four? Oh, yeah. No. We went and, and we and we hung out at one of his summer houses and met his, like, immortal butler. At least I think he might, might be immortal. I have no proof, uh, but that's what I suspect. And then we also met Lenny's mom. Or at least like half of his, her. His actual mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, she had had plastic surgery, so she was covered in bandages. We didn't get to see her new face. What? Yeah. But we, hey, you got a line in a movie, so good for you, right? Yeah, all we did was go to a house that was possibly haunted and find Lenny's mom. Apparently, mm -hmm. his dad has already gotten married to his stepmom, but, you know, Lenny still hasn't met her yet. Where is Lenny, anyway? He usually sits with us. That's a good um, question. Someone text him. I'm, I'm getting a little antsy because I can feel everyone looking at me. They serve chicken fingers today, and I know everyone wants me to take a bite and say the line. So, if we can just find Lenny, it would be great. Literally, no one is looking at you guys. No, I swear. Well, they'll just have to wait until the movie comes out to hear you say it. You're right. You're right. Lennox, where are you on this uh, rainy, rainy summer day? Uh, he is at the library uh, reading books about government. Spiro is sitting across from you hastily hastily, 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 trying so desperately to finish his homework that he put off. Ugh. I speak two languages. Why did I choose to take Spanish? Why? Uh, Why I don't did know. I do this? I could have taken French. Uh, I, could, I could throw on an American accent for a couple hours every week, and then I, I, I wouldn't have to bother. But no, I... Uh... I would struggle with like any of the the Latin based languages, because uh, all the like the syntax and gender switching of words and you know that's always harder. Uh, I like I like languages that are a lot like English. I like Japanese because that was like because the sentence structure is like the same or whatever, so it's like easy to understand. And if you're like if it's a question or whatever, they like end it with a with a with a sound. Are you a polyglot? I don't know why he's British. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, no, I mean I'm still trying to figure out my sexuality, so I don't. I don't know. That that's uh, that's not not what that word means. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Lennox, not not to pry, but mm. uh, I mean I'm Pan, so I uh, kind of go not both ways but every way uh so if you uh need an ear from a dude 
That's that's the word, right? Dude. I mean that that is a word that like uh I, and in this context I th- I feel like that, that that would be a correct uh usage of it. Okay. Well, I'm just saying I uh we are friends and I am uh cool. Oh, oh, real quick. And he reaches into his bag and he pulls out a baseball cap for you. It says, I heart LA. Uh-huh. It's not the fanciest. Nice. He's going to put it on. I, uh, yeah. I must say, I have enjoyed my times in LA. Oh, you've been? Yeah. Huh. It's pretty nice. Yeah. That's where our third beach house is. Well, not in LA because it's in Malibu, which I guess is technically not. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's like a different county or it's like it's considered, I don't know. Lennox, how many beach houses are there? In the world? Oh, gosh. No, no, no. At no, least no. 100. It, no, in the Thatcher family. Oh. Uh, you are thinking about that's this a complicated. That's like a. It's like a like a complicated answer because like because there's, there's like the the ones that we use, the ones we own we don't use, the ones we own but we rent to other people. So it's like it's like layers of that, and I don't know the best way to answer that. Huh. Anyways, I've been reading up on these governments. Um, what? It seems like some of these are like not good, but we still do them, and I don't understand that. Oh, yes. You see, what my people do, and this is why I love being French, if we're unhappy with something, we throw rocks and light, light it on fire until it's uh, better. Oh. And, then the, and sometimes cut off heads. We, we did a lot of that. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't get to that part mm-hmm. uh, in the books. Um, why the government? Because uh, cause I'm supposed to run for president. Other school. Well, uh, Lenny, you have my vote. Oh, cool. You think people will like it if I if I'm a should it, should I be a communist or is there's other there's like so many a lot of them are C language and that's it's hard to I forget which ones. Um, maybe maybe try a uh, socialist first. Communism tends okay. to scare a lot of the whites. Okay. Yeah. It's true. Okay. He goes back to looking at. He's like, looks socialism. And what he means in the workers is with, you know, it's to the people. Oh uh, yeah. As Lenny gets back to reading, um, Nanako will join Dahlia and Manny in the cafeteria. And if you, Manny. If you thought Dahlia was insufferable after her vacation, she got nothing on Nanako. Oh, God. Nanako is practically glowing. She has a lovely tan from her time in Hawaii, and she has so many photos that she's compiled a photo album. And they're mostly of her newborn nephew. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's so cute. I finally got to meet my sister-in-law. Oh, oh, uh, she flips through some pictures. Uh, my brother was there. Uh, this is his wife, and she slides it over. Uh, his wife is this uh, beautiful uh, Afro-Latin- Afro-Latinx woman who just is glowing in the photo. And her brother looks like Japanese uh, Batista. Just a fucking dump truck of a man. In fact, you get to see the entire Majima clan. All the men are the scariest motherfuckers you have ever seen in a photo. And then there's Nanako. Oh. Your family looks well equipped to protect you if anybody were to ever cause you pain. Oh, um, I guess so. Yeah. 
I mean, you also are perfectly capable of protecting yourself against people causing you pain. But I'm just saying that, like, if your family were to ever hear about somebody having caused you pain, even after you took care of it, they probably doubly take care of it before. What? Tell me about your family. Do, what kind of things do they do? Oh, what are they um, into? I need an intelligence roll from Dahlia and Manny. And Manny, go ahead and give yourself a plus three on the roll. Sure. Oh, I feel fine. like I know what's up. I feel like I know what's up. <laughs> okay, five from Dahlia. Six from Manny. Well, six plus three. Oh, sorry. I need to scroll all the way down because it always bumps me. Ah, yes, a six. Total. Total. Well, I actually don't know what my dad does. He's very busy, though. Uh, he spends a lot of time spends a lot of time uh, flying between so South Korea and China. Um, I know he runs. A I know he owns a couple tattoo parlors. Uh, it's where my uncle works. Uh, my uncle also works for. Well, actually, my uncle works at the tattoo parlor. My other uncle runs a bunch of gambling dens, uh, Pachinko. Uh, both of you are able to put together, oh, it's a mob family. Gosh. It's 100% a mob family. Of all of the weird stereotypes that Nanako could possibly fit into, her family is from the Yakuza. It's not the one I pinned. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. She know. looks, she kind of blinks at you like, what? Huh? Well, that was internal thought. Oh, that absolutely. Was Manny and Maat having a conversation. <laughs> oh, no, no. But I imagine, actually, I'm going to go ahead and roll for, uh, I'm going to roll for, uh, Kim real quick. Yeah. Dahlia, Manny, and Kim, all of you have that look of, oh, God. Oh, no. Does she not know? Because we know. And she just, just doesn't process it. I mean, this this kind Manny, of stuff. Yeah, Manny starts sending Lenny a text, be like, uh, Lenny, we need to talk. <laughs> Soon. Where are you? This library learning about socialism. Cool. <laughs> Have you had your date with Nanako yet? Uh, I don't know. Have we? I imagine uh, we Okay, then no. Cool. Yeah, we should talk. <laughs> okay. Manny, does this kind of make me like Frank Sinatra? Because he was involved with the mafia, so do you think Nanako's okay. family could get a leg up from for my for my career? I I mean Possibly, but is that is, is that something you want want to do? I mean, think of all the big names from the past. Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra. You mentioned him already. Uh, Kim, the... Kim's going to lean in as well. So wait, 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 wait. Is this why she's so jumpy? No. How much, how much no. death do you think she's seen in her life? Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, oh my God. You think if... if she, oh, the safety squad really is safe because if anything happens to Nanako, she just has to call her dad. And oh my god. Everyone that wronged her gets wiped out. Safely. We're friends with a mafia princess. At is this that... point, at this point, man, he's just like, why? <laughs> why? Nanako has so many question marks over her head, wondering why you're all whispering. <laughs> So, so how are like uh, how's the, how's holidays? You excited to go home next holiday? Um. Well, usually I just stay with my mom in San Francisco. Uh, my grandpa, my grandpa had uh pretty much my whole family move out here when I was a little kid. Um, I only get to go back to Japan maybe like uh once every couple years. It's like this whole thing we meet up at this uh old hotel that my family used to own. I think we still kind of own it. And, you know, I get to meet all these uncles and everything. Oh, uh, there's actually a picture of one of them. She slides it over. He, and it's a picture of a man with one eye covered in tattoos uh, with silver teeth. Right. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, that's my uncle Ichiro. He's a sweetheart. He looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
Those are really cool designs. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, no. So, we, I, we, we didn't even meet them on family day. Oh, yeah, no. My dad had some business. Uh, something about shoes. I don't know. Dolly is just, like, under the table Googling, like, suspicious deaths around the time and date <laughs> that our uh, family day was a couple weeks ago. Go ahead and roll me intelligence. Let's see if you get anything. A four. Yeah, no, no, nothing pops up. Uh, well, hopefully we'll get a chance to meet them at the next family day. Yeah. My dad's oh. a huge teddy bear, but oh my god, my nephew is so cute. Ah, I hate to derail this conversation, but it occurs to me that now that we have started our summer semester, we are going to be revving up for a uh, school festival here soon. Oh, you're right. I probably need to talk to the pep squad about what we're planning. Ugh. Hmm. Well, um, after after the debacle with prom, I don't know. So I had like this sort of weird interaction with like the people who are in charge of the club about like my organizational skills, and I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do pep squad this year. But I thought you loved pep, pep squad. I do. I really love Pep Squad, but like, I don't, um, I don't know if the Pep Squad is like the, the, the direction I need to be going in right now. I, I feel like now that I've, I've started, you know, like in this year, that I really need to start focusing down on what it is I, I really want to do in my life. And Dahlia knows what she wants to do and, and, and Lenny is on the path of figuring out what he wants to do and and I feel like Kwame has always known what he wants to do and I don't really know what I want to do. We had like a really long conversation, Dahlia, about like whether or not, you know, we were going to keep our divinities once we, once we graduated from high school. What? Yeah. You're, you're gonna keep them, right? Well, Kwame says he's gonna keep his, and I think Lenny wants to keep his too. Well, where do they go when we stop having them? Well, I think they turn back into their keys. Like, you're not the first person to have Persephone. I don't think I'm the first person to have my eye. Uh, guys! But I, I, I feel like they need stability. It's like having... This is a quiet conversation happening. It's like, I think, I think, uh, I think at this point, um, yeah, Manny Manny is kind of closed off away from Nanako and is having this conversation with with Dahlia. All right, I just want to make sure because you were gonna have you're gonna have to explain some stuff to Nanako. <laughs> yeah, I just it feels weird after everything I've been through with Persephone to hand her off to someone else like a like a puppy that I got and then realize I didn't have the ability to care for them. I I think. When it comes down to it, I'd have to have Persephone agree with me that she would like to go to a different person. I mean, that feels fair. Anyways, we're probably being rude at this point. <laughs> uh, Kim has more or less been a distraction for uh, you two, as Nanako is gushing about her nephew, who is an a adorable, adorable little baby who somehow has mastered the art of mean mugging at six months old. <laughs> has had plenty of great examples. Also, I feel the need to just interject here that a lot of my interactions with people who may or may not have been part of the Japanese mob were like every shape and size that you could possibly think of. And no, no, like there's no way you could tell right up front whether or not they were part of it in some cases, so. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I mean, okay, Nanako they did get her name like from anyone. the Yakuza games. Yes. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. Yeah. Lennox, go ahead and roll me intelligence. 
Uh, how good is that? Uh, uh, eight. That's the best I could Great. do. So, you have gotten a crash course on French politics from uh, Spiro. Uh, and now you know how to build a guillotine for under $200. <laughs> Please clear that search history. <laughs> I, I actually, don't schools like basically have their browsers set up to like auto dump like information so that like people who use the computers after you can't look up what you searched for? I have no I idea, but I, that was how it worked in my college. That's fair. So yes, uh, after that, you do a little slice, slice. They know do not fuck with me, and that is how you run a good government. Okay. I'm going to, like, you know, you've been going on for, like, a while. Uh, and uh, I'm I sorry. Wanna, I, I, I didn't, I I didn't, I didn't want to cut you off. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't think uh, beheading my enemies is going to, like, come up if I'm, like, class president or whatever. Uh, nor would I, I think, choose to uh, murder any students or faculty. Uh, but, you know, thanks for the information. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got... I got really into that. That was whew, something yeah. deep. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, you, someday I may, like, I don't know, need to build an impromptu barricade to fight the government police. So, you know, if that ever happens, exactly. like, I'm going to need that. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, if you have a good enough aim, you don't have to worry about consequences. I don't understand that, but okay. <laughs> All right, Lennox, where are you heading off? The here? French are hitting at a whole different level. <laughs> <laughs> Spiro watches like riots breaking out in America and just goes, <laughs> that's, that's very cute. cute. That's yeah. cute. <laughs> Dahlia, second guessing relationships. But okay, Lennox, where are you going after this? Where are you heading off to? I guess I'd reconvene with my friends. All right. As you step out of the library, you are underneath the uh, covered pathways that guide basically all the main buildings to and from each other. You don't really have to use them except during, you know, extreme weather like this. But as you step out, you hear more thunder. And... Lightning seems to flash very close. And then it happens again, almost immediately. And again. And it keeps getting closer and closer and closer. Until finally, I need you to roll dexterity. Oh, no. <laughs> Four. Oh, no. Four. <laughs> Dolly is not even there. But yes, uh, uh -huh. Lennox... You dive out of the way as you see a scorch mark where you were standing. Lightning. You almost got struck by fucking lightning. <laughs> cool. And I need another dexterity roll. Five. And then an eight on accident if there's a third. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you dodge out of the way again. Look. <laughs> That's... It's funny that that happened and the third one happened. It's like, all right, now this isn't, it was fun like the first time or whatever, uh, but this is getting like to be kind of a dick move. From among the clouds, you see something floating within them. It is hard to make out, but it is humanoid in shape. And I need another dexterity roll. I found sound effects on here. I'm having so much fun. Three. <laughs> Oof. All right. You take... You almost get shocked. It almost hits you again, and you do take two points of damage. All right. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything about this, but, like, uh, this stuff has to stop, like, right now or whatever? Well... Try having a conversation with lightning. See how that goes. I am. Oh, you're actually trying to have a conversation <laughs> yeah. with it? Yeah, he's yelling at a cloud. 
Old man. Wait, no. Teenager yells at Cloud. Beefy teenager yells at Cloud. I wouldn't say beefy. I would say he's cut. Is there a difference? Yeah. Well, well toned, uh, blonde haired. Yeah, he's Adonis. cut, which means like he's got some muscle mass and low body fat. Mm. Okay, so like Chris Hemsworth is beefy. Yeah, I'd say he's he's usually pretty jacked. I'd, I would say. Yeah. I don't think beefy is the right. Like, yeah. if we want to go beef, Chris Hemsworth, he would Hemsworth is beefy. Right, yeah. Chris Hemsworth is beefy. Bas- Batista is like. Like, even beefier. Yeah, like, right. I would, I would say that if you want to like really put somebody in the dictionary next to the word beefy, Batista is like the direction yeah. you go. But yeah, Batista Chris, Chris, or The Rock, both of them are pretty fucking beefy. Like, but yeah, Chris, Chris is Chris is like on the other side, not quite obscenely strong just yet. So like, Chris Hemsworth is CrossFit beefy. Yeah. Batista yeah. is heavyweight beefy. I would say I would say yeah, Batista's beefy, Hemsworth is jacked. Yeah. Yeah. And Chris Evans is cut. Yeah. Chris okay, Evans so Chris is Evans cut. is kind of the Lennox. Yeah. Know. Yeah. I feel I mean, like he, that he actually, probably like, doesn't like Chris yeah. Evans coming out of the the shrinky dink in Captain Yay. America. Goodness. I would if like Chris Evans as a teenager is probably who I would have cast as Lennox. From, that like, not great another great yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. that's that's okay. kind of how I imagine. Okay. Then what's Tom Holland? Tom Holland is. Tom Holland is twink. Yeah, he's twink. A twink. Yeah, he's hardcore twink. twink derogatory. Energy. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a dancer's bod. Full, full, full offense. He's a twink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twink. Full offense. <laughs> no. Well, he's also a twink that's dating one of the most gorgeous women on the planet, though. So I don't think we get to, I don't think we get to say shit. Oh no, I still get to call him a twink derogatory. All right, <laughs> you don't get to be gay and chubby in high school and not get to do that. All right, that's like the one thing I get. You know what? You yes, you N- me no, you yes. <laughs> all right, so Lennox, before you begin yelling at the cloud, uh, Mel Pamino has one draw from the deck of heroes from last week and another one from this week. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the first card they drew was the fool right side up. Uh-oh. It's me. Manny, I get advantage on a roll. Yes. Manny gets advantage on a roll. Yay. Thank you. Manny, as you uh, sit there processing that, oh my God, this is, so this is not a coast thing uh you feel kind of emboldened you feel good you feel like you know you just ate a perfect amount of lunch and you got up early and you already did your cardio like you feel good physically right now physically is about it about it (laughs) everything else who knows and the second card drawn is the magician in reverse Ah, uh, we have a couple of magicians in this crew. I know. Well, I'll reveal what the magician does in a moment. But first, Lennox, what are you doing exactly? Uh, yelling at clouds? Lennox is full on standing in in the middle of a rainstorm on the the the, the lawn of the quad, uh, yelling at a, a rain cloud, uh, at the humanoid figure that probably only he sees. All right. Go ahead and roll me charisma. I mean, I'm just a little I just fail. black rain uh, one. cloud. <laughs> All right, I go ahead and roll convince, me dexterity. I do not convince a cloud to stop. Three. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take eight points of uh, shock damage. Okay. I'm just a little black rain I'm cloud. <laughs> uh, Lennox, you see the figure in the clouds summon a lightning bolt and just hurl it directly at you and it makes direct contact with your chest almost like the universe has a bullseye directly on your sternum you are not like you to death though it just hurts and you are knocked to the ground that burns like a heck of a lot i'm gonna check my phone does it still work 
Uh, actually, has full battery now. Okay. He's just going to text the group. Uh, Cloud, keep striking me with lightning in quad. And then, <laughs> then he's going to put his phone down. It's like, I tried to, you know, do this like, you know, kind or whatever. But uh, I guess I guess we got to go the other way. Wait, stranger danger. It's a, that's not a stranger. That's just critical bard. Hi. Hi. Guami's been here. The... He's He's been in spider mode. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Don't, don't ask me. Do you have any idea how much your mother and I were worried about you? He didn't call. Did text. Who oh. is this? You. This is Steven. Oh, we're, me- we're messing with you. That's oh, I was like, wait, what character is this? Uh, how no, would I no, respond? We we just messing with you. We messed we're with Dahlia character now. earlier than this. Uh, and scene. Well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We messing with you. Uh, well, fine. glad you're here. Hope yes. you're doing all right. You, you came right in time. We're about to kick some lightning's ass. So, some lightning. Oh, so wait, lightning a white per. I heard lightning a white per white thing. I, I don't. What did I just hear? Lightning. Lightning. I mean, cool. lightning is white, so we about to get a white thing's ass. Why are we kicking you know? lightning's butt? I'm oh, because to find um, out. there's something hiding out in the storm around the school uh, that's been trying to kill Lennox with lightning. Don't kill my friend. Oh, while you were gone, Dahlia and Spiro had their first kiss, and Dahlia got a speaking part in a movie about an asexual super spy. We hey, found feature out film. a feature film, yes, and we found out Nanako comes from a. Uh, well, Yakuza family. And Lenny studied socialism. Yeah. Oh, and we also found out that Spiro's a bit Spiro's a bit of an extremist, but in a good way. Well, Don't worry he's, about it. He's true French. He's French. He lives he's by the French. rule of riot first, talk later. Exactly. Oh, and he taught Lennox how to make a guillotine for under two hundred dollars. A guillotine? Guillotine? Yeah. <laughs> I always have the. I always say the Al and Gillet and guillotine. I always say. I always say like guillotine. I know it's not that. Guillotine. I know it's guillotine. I, I don't know why I do that. Anyway, <laughs> Lenny so, getting struck by lightning just yes. texted us. Kwame, you are sitting. Actually, where are you? Where are you? It's a very stormy day here at North Point Academy. Manny and Dolly are in the cafeteria. Lennox was in the library. Where are you? Um, who's where again? Sorry, Manny and Dahlia are in the cafeteria, and Lennox was in the library with a candlestick. The lights out. The power's out. No, it's not. Why does he have a light stick? That was. It was a clue joke. It was a candlestick. Oh, I thought you mean like he had like you know like it says he needs a little light source and he's water not fire. Uh, cool. Like, not to be gay on Maine, but he'd probably also be in the library because, like, he hasn't really done any studying. <laughs> so, like, he's probably in the library Is or at least at a I computer. Because... School? Late, late <laughs> homosexuality is why I didn't study in school? Oh yes. Wait, 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 wait. I never wait, wait, studied wait, 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 a day wait, wait, in my wait, life. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. There's okay. something in Awakening right now. <laughs> What's up, Steven? Did you okay. study and now we have to take your gay card away? No, no, I was a terrible student. <laughs> no, uh, my whole thing is I definitely spent way too much time in the library in high school. Is the library just like a gay place? And I didn't know? Well, actually, at my at my, at my high school, there's a room in the library where the Gay Straight Alliance uh, met and I was president. So it's just funny that that is a thing. <laughs> Things that don't shock me. Well, the library is a gay place because that's where all the bullies wouldn't go. Because they'd be too busy on the quad or like somewhere else, and, and it's quiet. Places. My libra- my librarian was like such a friend to me. Just be like, yeah, just be quiet, and you can hang out here, and I'll give you a pass. Like, cool. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Anywho, yeah, he's probably like at like a computer um, in the library. Uh, I think he has a, a laptop. He definitely has a laptop. Yeah, he got a laptop. Um, but he's at the, in, in in the computer uh, library, probably act like catalog at, on the catalog, looking for a book. Um, he's probably actually looking up lots of like mythology stuff, um, some some Dante's Inferno, some Goetic things, just trying to learn more about these um, 
these scarecrows, anything that might be useful. That's what he's doing. All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll? Don't. I just got here. Don't. Don't. Don't ask me to do these things. <laughs> That's not what happens. Okay, one second. Let me get it. Get into roll twenty. Sorry. The, um, the storyteller demanding I roll dice in a game. Honestly, right? Dice. How sounds, dare you? Sounds like Demand. an attack. I demanded. Really. Come on, roll twenty. Why are you taking a long time? I was just. I was just using you. Get it together, roll twenty. That's why it's there taking a long time. You've used it. It's vulnerable. It's still <laughs> having feelings. Okay, there we are. I'm in. I'm in. We're real. Oh, 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 that's cute. The the this the storm and yeah. the the weather. I see you putting <laughs> I, in I, effort. I've had a little too much fun today. Don't worry about it. Oh, Kwame. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, that's that's really good for me. Yeah. You have found a. You have found the perfect book. It is called The Introductory Guide to Goetic Text. And it okay. lists all of Solomon's demons. Okay. Uh, really quick, did we uh, start with full? Yes, today? you are back okay. to full. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'll be looking through. I'll once I get see that, I will go to the spot where I see that book, and like kind of sit on the floor and just like reading it. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing. As you're reading it, uh, you turn the page to a creature that kind of looks like if a deer had its skin taken off and you stretched it over a chicken and then crossbred that chicken with a T Rex. Why? I'm just Why? describing it. And what is this what is this supposed to be? Well, uh you see it is called Furfur. And chicken T-Rex, weird, no, okay. Chicken T-Rex I, deer thing, yes. <laughs> deer thing. You all get a text from Kawame. Uh it says in library reading book about scarecrows fur fur question mark chicken t-rex deer thing we have a bigger problem i text back to kwame lenny yes. is getting lit up by lightning right now in the quad what dolly and i are on our way to intercept all right Emo e emoji of running black man <laughs> It's because he's too tall. I think I'm taller. <laughs> oh, then maybe you shouldn't come out here. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Manny and Dahlia, as the two of you run out into the quad, uh, I need dexterity rolls from both of you. Oh, boy. But I'm oh, short. Boy. The lightning wouldn't look at me. Seven. Oh, no. Three. Oh, boy. Manny, you take a... Uh, you get, oh, a lightning bolt comes by, and it doesn't look like lightning should look. It looks kind of almost like cartoon lightning, you know, where you draw the zigzags. Uh huh. And it is going to uh, slice through your shoulder, and you take four no. electric, electric damage. No, thank you. I, I, no. How, no, okay. Oh yeah, you definitely dodge one, another one as it almost crashes into you. What is Zeus himself here? What's going on? Oh, don't you dare speak that name! Did Furfur mention anything about electricity or lightning? Um. Well, you you know what? You rolled pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Uh, Furfur is associated with uh, lies. Romance and storms. Lies, romance, and storms. That sounds like the perfect bisexual problem. I know. Um, and Lenny's whole deal right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will. As I'm running, I say, "Um, fur, fur, like storms. Probably fur, fur." Oh, thanks for the heads up. And uh, Manny is like, you know, running out to try and get to Lennox and, you know, popping out the sword as they do so. And the shield. 
All right. This sounds like I need initiative rolls from everyone. The music, the music starts, and you know, Dex plus speed, yay! Two. Oh dear. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, that was a crit. Damn. Seven. You are apps. So, uh, Kwame goes first. You rolled a fuck. Oh, jeez, Eric. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, so I wrote a crit on the same dice that Eric has, and he wrote a fail. <laughs> a crit fail. Yep. This is probably very symbolic right now, and I am not mad at it. All right. So here's the picture. As the four of you join on the quad, it is a blanket of rain. You can barely see further than, like, 15 feet. Lennox is on the ground. He has a hole in his shirt, He's kind of have, it's like the Power Girl thing, except instead of uh, boobs, it's uh, pecs. So, man boobs. Um, Man boobs. uh, There are scorch marks all over the quad from lightning, mostly near Lennox. And above you, obscured in a, well, a cloud is, well, Kwame, you can kind of make it out, almost. It looks a lot like the picture you saw in the book. Chicken, T-Rex, deer thing. Um, did I see any of the, the lightning strikes? Uh, you ran out just in time to see Manny get, uh, what do you call it when you get hit by something, but not exactly, like close enough? Grazed. Grazed. Grazed, thank you. You saw Manny get grazed by one, and you saw Dahlia dodge out of the way. Okay. The thing that Manny is shooting as they're like manifesting their sword and shield and seeing Kwame come out and they go, do you see the reporters? Oh God. As I begin to summon Anansi, do I see any reporters? Uh, thank you for actually asking. Uh, no, surprisingly, you do not see uh, the Real Housewives of <clears throat> uh, crew trying to get B-roll of Lennox. Great. Oh, yeah, Lenny's being stalked by a film crew, Dahlia. Yeah, bravo. Yeah, Lenny's new stepmom is uh, one of the housewives of the real housewives of... <clears throat> and uh, they really want B-roll with Lenny, of her new stepson. But uh, Lenny is not interested, and the school doesn't want them on here. And also, uh, the, and also the butler chased them off with a broom. Uh, so knowing so that this thing show. is striking down and we are an anime, I'm going to go full anime. I'm going to always go for fantasy. Uh, and I say, uh, Anansi, fashion show time. Um, and Anansi is going to literally jump, will crawl into my head, start weaving something, uh, and then jump to the nearest person who's probably Manny, your head, and start weaving something. Oh, I, I want them to weave us rubber helmets so it the, the elect basically i want us to be able to not get hit as much or like the, the the damage go down like the conducting you know rubber and lightning that's what i want i want full conspiracy theory rubber helmets <laughs> all right all right i like that for kwame um i am going to say though earlier you weren't here for this uh cb we did draw from the deck of heroes, and I drew the magician in reverse. Uh, don't like that. What does that mean? That means I am going to offer you, Dahlia, and Lennox. For one round, I double the difficulty. Just for you three. Alternatively, I can have advantage on any rolls against you for the rest of combat. Double it for one round. Double it, double it, double it. That That's, that's, them's the rules. Them's the rules. Let's do it. Save big money at Menards. Guys, intelligence, guys. power, intelligence range, intelligence. What do you want? All right. I'm going to need intelligence power from you. Okay. As you roll to make these things. Usually I'd look for a six. I'm going to be looking for a 12. Do we have any rerolls yet? We do have rerolls. Okay. 
Yep, we're gonna reroll. All right. Aha! You got it. <laughs> and you were worried. Uh, I mean, thank thank you for chat for uh, allowing my success to be fruitful. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, thank you to chat. Um, Kwame, as you spin together these uh, keep away lightning helmets. You do hear a lot of mumbling from Anansi about how this isn't even my wheelhouse. I am, I am an artiste. I am not a. I, 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 I do not work in Europa. I work in Silk. You will work in reality. Help make this thing happen. Thank you. <laughs> He's just being a diva. He's being a diva because that's what he is. Um, he is kind of a diva. Suddenly, you see a flash of red and a flash of green, a flash of blue, a flash of yellow, and. The Rabbit Rangers! The Rabbits! I love it. Yes. I guess I guess go, Dahlia, your friends are here. We are the Rabbit Rangers! <laughs> they say it's in unison. About time! <laughs> we bring it. We've been spying. Uh, just, on, just on Scarecrows, don't worry. We're not creepy like that. We're not like Len, Lenny's stepmom. Manny, we know yeah? who Furfur is. Me? No. No, 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 not you, not you. It's a friend of yours. Huh? Talia, Talia, the yellow bunny, is going to step forward. Your friend, uh, the big Russian one who, uh, all the time. Oh, yeah, what about him? Oh, he's, Furfur. oh, oh, uh, <sighs> fine. Thank you, chat, for spies bouncing everywhere. Uh, the rabbits will deliver some important information that will make this battle a little easier. Well, if anybody's gonna take care of this, I guess it has to be me. Uh, yes. You'll be really unhappy if I, like... I'll be fine. It's fine. Don't kill my friend! Or rather, yes. the president of the pep squad or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rabbits all band together, and they're about to summon their bunny swords when lightning lightning strikes again, and they go, nope, 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 we are not powerful enough for this. Nope, Talia, no, Malpany, Malpany, Calliope, come on, we're, we're, nope, nope, we don't have superpowers, we don't have, we have superpowers, we're just superpowered bunnies, okay. Love you guys, good luck! You cowards, you're the lowest thing to the ground! <laughs> They're just here to tell us the gospel truth and move on, okay? That's that's what they do. And that's the gospel truth. Alright, next up in initiative is Dahlia. Kwama and I were on the same brain. Uh, I'm going to call upon Persephone to lay out rubber plant all across the entire field so that we're always touching rubber on our head and our feet. Alright. Go ahead and give me intelligence power. Oh, and what did my condition give us? Oh, uh, your condition gave you and uh, Manny uh, electric proof five. So uh, it went to all four of us. So you said no. Oh, I thought you only gave it to. No, I, I was saying, I was just illustrating that it went from Kwame, then Anansi jumped to Manny, then he jumped to. They were jumping in all four of us. So you all have matching headwear? Yes. Okay. Uh, everyone is going to get uh, a, a shockproof four. And then I got a 13. Oh, damn. You're not even going to have to use one of the rerolls. And I doubled that crap. All right, fine. Uh, the environment now has rubberized six. So basically, if Burfa rolls below a six, this is going to suck for me. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, I hate that for me. I love it. We Ugh. love it. I bet you all do. You all love my failures. Hey, I, I, I have deliberately given you a chance to destroy me once. It's true. All right. Uh, Furfur is going to shoot lightning, and that is an 11 to Kwame. Kwame, I need a defense roll. Mm, I got a 14. Oh, yeah, you did. That's going to be a miss. All right. 
Furfur misses you. It goes wide. Ha <laughs> ha! I studied you, you chicken deer T-Rex thing. You can't hit me. It's not possible. Yes. Uh, next up is Manny. Here we go. Time to do a chop chop. Uh, I think that uh, as they are attempting to kind of basically like do a hit on this thing, they're also kind of saying very quietly, uh, almost I guess as if they're thinking that Piotro is going to be able to hear them. Uh, you got this, Piotro. You can you can break away from this. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to succumb to this really weird ridiculousness that's happening to you. And like, even though I can't see Piotra, and even though I don't know where he is, like Manny is is kind of like giving giving him a little bit of a pep talk because that's what we do on Pep Squad is we help pep people up. So I like that. Yeah, that's I, I give it a, I, I give it a little bit of a of the good old college try. Now we're gonna try and do do a chop chop. With the big old sword. Oh yeah. Don't forget you roll with the advantage. Seventeen. Oh, do I get to choose when I roll with advantage? Oh yeah, you, you can choose okay, when cool. roll with advantage. Sweet. Well, I'm guessing a seventeen's gonna hit. A seventeen's gonna hit. Cool. Uh Manny, as you go flying into the air, uh you burst through the cloud and you can see the demon furfur. It is, as I described it, a chicken. It's like a deer stretched over a T-Rex uh, crossed with a chicken. No, it's I horrid. love I love him and I want to take him home with me. No, no you, you can have him. I don't like his teeth. The teeth are like the only really disturbing thing about like I'm fine about with him. everything else. But everything I don't else. like his teeth. Yeah, I, I I get it. The teeth the teeth are a little off putting, but everything else I'm loving. Special thanks to 72 Go Eat Go Go Eat ya. I'm gonna be able to say that right one day. It looks weirdly similar to my tattoo. Oh, kind of does. Huh. But yes, uh, seven damage because I roll great to hit rolls and awful damage, or I roll really awful to hit rolls and don't even get to roll damage, and then you know, boo hoo, woe is me. My life is so hard. <laughs> my life's so hard. You go and strike it, Manny, uh, and it bucks at you with its uh, antlers that the closer you get to, the more you realize, oh, those are human bones. Uh, but it does take, you do manage to slice it, so it's not happy, but it's uh, still standing. All right. And at the bottom of the order, Lennox. Lennox gun is taking a moment to recover from being directly struck by lightning in the chest. Um, nice yeah. He's going to try and heal himself cuz he he took quite a while up there. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try and use my power to to soothe myself and and maybe maybe heal. What what do I roll for that? Is it just a regular? Uh, I'm going to say that's going to be intelligence power. Okay. I think that's this, but I'll do it here. Intelligence power. Roll 12. All right. That meets the difficulty. Uh, this is the last time I'm going to be doubling difficulty for magicians. Thank you, chat. Uh, all right. You heal six. Okay. It's just like... <laughs> Oh, that, that heck of hurt. Um, my arm won't stop shaking. I think you I'm okay. okay? No, I, yeah. It's like I can't feel my arm, but I can still move it. And it uh, won't stop shaking. That but... doesn't seem like okay. I'm okay. Linus, this is going to be a lesson in changing up your normal. You, you probably can't fight this thing with water. So you know. Oh, I was, I'd like to try and talk to it. Oh. Oh. He rolled a one. <laughs> the awe doesn't doesn't subside. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's precious, actually. <laughs> Wait, is Lennox a himbo? Yeah. 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 He's like very like extremely 
I am both. Yeah. yeah. It's like I don't think I don't think I don't think Kwame and Spiro are technically himbos. They're just athletic and and adorable, whatever. Linux is a flat out himbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Manny is the non binary equivalent, but I don't know what that is. Manny is respects everybody too so all the time. They're them both. Thimbo. Okay. Thimbo. I never heard that. I like that. I mean, I've never either. I just made it up right now. Oh, I've, I've, definitely, I've heard it be said before, but I don't know. You know, it's personal preference. Yeah. So, Kwame, top of the order with you. All right. I've protected everyone. How far is this thing in the air? Um, it is oh, hi, also. anime jump away, but uh, you saw Manny make it, so. I'm not Manny. Um, no, yeah, f it. Uh, I will. I will. Um, perfect. I'm on synergy. I, 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 I rear back. I run. I see some of the 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 rubber flower. I jump onto the rubber flower. In the air, uh, fanged fists come out, and just like attempt to just like punch in the gut. Uh, I'm gonna ask for a dexterity roll from you, but I don't want do this to, add, to me. Don't do this to me. <laughs> but I want you to add four to it because of the flowers doll you made. Okay. Well, not flowers, but plants. Hey, it's a ten then. You absolutely make it. Go ahead and uh, roll to hit. Um, is it just strength? Uh, or is this a? How do we? I I I, I keep I'm forgetting. Going to say this is since you're just punching it. Uh, actually, you know what? You're punching it with. Magic, go ahead and roll a normal magician roll. But I think we, I think we said do like strength power versus intelligence power. Yes, because yes, I'm yes. Thank you, yeah. thank you. I got to write did, this down. You did decide that, yeah. Yeah. I went to bed at five last night. I morning, so. probably Not same. Not last night. That was probably that big was this morning. <laughs> yeah. Very firmly not last night, five a.m. And reminder, these rolls have a plus six. Thank you, Loki, even though I still hate you. Loki's great. Ten? All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I literally did not roll the power part. Twelve? Uh, Twelve absolutely hits. Um, wait, oh, wait, no, you do already, I? No hit. So, yeah, 12 damage. Let's see. How no, much no, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, oh. I'm sorry. I, it was six plus uh, six, which is twelve, and then I minus two, right? Yes. Then so does ten practice. hit. Ten hits. Okay. Now I will do the same and add two to it. Yes. Magician uh, subtract and then add, and then guardians add and then subtract. So thank you, thank you so much. So this is actually eighteen, eighteen damage. All right. Uh, I'm still going to keep that defense roll I accidentally made for him. I'm going to throw out my dry erase marker because this one's trash. Valid. All uh, right. Yeah. That is me. You go up and you see this thing and it just has these glassy eyes, one on the prize, one on the vending machine. Uh, these rotted yellow teeth sticking out that look like they belong to four different creatures. And you just bop. And it does not like that, but it is still standing. Um, you come down and you do that superhero landing and it is sick. Heck yeah. All right. That is that is me. Next up, Dahlia. Is this thing in the air? Yes. I'd like to call upon Persephone one more time and... I'm going to use any bit of bacteria and moisture on this thing's fur to make it grow an obscene amount of fungi and mushrooms to weigh it down so that it can't stay lifted in the air. Smart. I love that. Okay, go ahead and I'm going to make this like you're rolling to attack, but we're going yeah. to just use that sort of differently. Okay. Uh, and rolling to attack is Dex... I don't remember what it is, because it's not on D or roll 20. Uh, for a magician, I believe it's range power. Range power, okay. Those are both in the same field. It's oh. int range. Yeah, it's int range. Yes. 
I'm gonna reroll. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so 10, does that hit? Uh, a 10 does hit, yes. All right. Uh, plus two, so 11. All right. Um, 11. Oh uh, my god. To grow mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Just slap you are not seeing this ridiculousness on roll 20, my Where my did dude. you get these mushrooms from? Well, oh roll 20 allows you to uh, import a bunch of images, and it also allows you to do a Google image search while in roll 20. So uh, we're just going to slap these down because I'm an adult. <laughs> I threw them on the fur fur. Yes. Uh, so what did you get on your... So you got a 10? I got a 10 to hit and then an 11 for damage. All right. Uh, I'm not going... So would you like this to be a condition that grounds him or would you like this to be damage? Condition to ground him. All right. I think my three compadres can do a lot of damage melee without having to jump up in the sky. Yeah. All right. Even Cast though Manny has wings. Boss. Okay, so he, <laughs> yeah. Manny I'm going to go ahead and give him grounded 10. Cool. As uh, I really hope the chat, I really hope the chat can see the wonderful art I've created. <laughs> Like, I'm just um, eventually going to end up with, like, a full-on winged knight thing happening over here, and I'm very excited about it. As you should be. Dahlia, you feel Persephone's energy flow through you. She manifests behind you, now sporting a Marilyn Monroe bob. Um, hey, spend enough time in Hollywood. Uh, and suddenly, specks of fungus and and just earth come rushing towards fur fur digging into its flesh and suddenly mushrooms and he comes crashing down leaving a crater in the earth he stands up modded with these fungi and he lets out this scream of just anger I am, fun, I, I, I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> and he is going to go ahead and try to bite you. Let's see. Roll. Ooh, not with those teeth. Oh. That that's a. Uh, that oh my god! I'm using a reroll. I rolled a four on two d ten. Sixteen. Much better. All right, Dahlia, go ahead and roll defense. Uh, seven. So Dahlia, how do you how do you how do you ignore all of it? Uh, I'm gonna how do. You, how do you just ignore all of it? Can I just do a cool sidestep? Absolutely. Just bodies the shit out of that hit. Ah. Uh. A fucking no sell. I got a sixteen to hit and three on the damage. I am living There's that. There's no life. way you're gonna injure me when I have tons of interviews probably coming up in the future for my line. Uh, actually, because I rolled so bad. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Okay, so. The rubber, the rubberized plants, and the grounded both kick in. That does knock his dice down by one size. I am very upset about everything forever. Moving along, Manny, it's your turn. Is it one size or two sizes? Because it's two different conditions. It's two different dice that are being knocked down. Let's go. All right. So Don't mess with the safety squad and Kwame. <gasps> Kwame is a part of the safety squad. <gasps> Manny, you know, like pounds their their sword against their shield to cheer uh, Dahlia on for that very good move, and then swoops down from above to like stab this this thing in the head if they can. Because now they have the high ground. Eleven, which I know eleven hits. hits. Roll your damage. 
Hop chop. Ooh, 11 damage. All right, I'm going to roll its defense. It's Take still... that. Still standing, but furious. It, has uh, my, it now has my sword embedded in its head. It lets out a scream that sounds humanoid and deep as you stab into it. Uh, Lennox, it's your turn. Well, everyone else is doing a hit about it, so I'm going to do a hit about it. I'm going to fire a concentrated jet of, of liquid right at its jacked up teeth. Let's get the fur for a drop. Four. That's not would you like to use a Would you like to use a reroll? Sure. You know what? I'll use a reroll because all I got is four. This is uh, gonna we've be got one reroll left. Ooh, eight. Eight is not gonna hit. Oh. Even with all of the conditions. Well, conditions don't usually change initiative, but uh. Hmm. If they don't usually, then you can obviously tell me no. Steve. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, but I don't say, normally do that. Being fair, we don't. haven't done that yet. <laughs> That's not normally a mechanic, so I'm not gonna allow it. And yeah. hey, my only answer to that is fair. All right. Lennox, <laughs> your call. You, Lennox, you get the finger and you shoot, and you it's a wonderful water pick. Yeah. It's like also getting into those crevices. The problem is my hand won't stop shaking, and I also can't quite feel it. It's all pins and needles, so it's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> When I was in college, I plugged my uh, PlayStation into an outlet that I didn't know was not supposed to have things plugged into it. I couldn't feel my arm for like two days. When I was in Universal Studios for the first time ever in Florida, I was on the Hulk ride. Uh, and at the end of the Hulk ride, it like goes around this little bend when it goes back into the thing. And I have long arms, so I touched the, the, the bar. Yeah, that hurt. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that hurt. Uh, I'll never forget how that felt. And that's Universal. They don't care. Like Disney will make sure you're okay. Universal will just like hand you a band aid. It's like we it told you put you keep your hands inside, motherfucker. Yep. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you learned today. I did. Uh, all right, Kwame. We're back to the top of the order. You have this thing covered in mushrooms screaming in a russian man's voice uh there's rubber all over the thing and you're wearing an ugly hat let's go hey it is stylish it's like a beanie it's like a rubber beanie okay okay you know what you try to you try to work under these conditions you've worked under harsher conditions you're from africa um and uh, uh, uh kawame preps Seeing Lennox trying to get into the groove, he moves in front of Lennox. Stop it! Go do something else. Um, okay. Heal yourself or whatever. You got electric. Okay, uppercut. Um, with uh, oh boy. And just to remind me, each time I hit, I use AP, right? Yes, as long as you're yep. using uh, a non C to hit. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, 10. Uh, 10 will hit. Yes! So this will be... 23! No. Dang. Yes, 23. The dang, though. So, Kwame... Paint me a word picture how you kill it. <laughs> That's the second episode in a row. <laughs> nice. I mean, honestly, this is all because of Loki. I would never be a martial person if Loki didn't give my strength a plus six. Um, but uh, he, he, so as he tells Linux to move back, Linux can tell it is, is a caring gesture, not like a stop, I got this. But it's like, a no, you, sit, sit. Um, and then I'll just kind of rear back and just drag the the fanged fist through the uh, the neck meat uh, fur fur, and just like literally like drag those fangs through and just like rip out whatever's in there and just kind of fling it on the ground. Oh, that's nasty. So the head of fur fur falls to the ground. 
uh, you have a brief moment where it looks, you're kind of concerned it's going to start moving and say, and laughing, and uh, kind of looking like a hand puppet. Don't worry about it. That's for you. Because... Dead before dawn. <laughs> Dead before dawn! But it doesn't. Instead, it begins to melt away in the rain, and soon you are left with a scarecrow key. I grab the key. All right, you have got Piotra? the key. Piotra. A little ways away, you see a large figure uh, stumble out of a stairwell before falling face first into the dirt. Ah, uh, no, that's not. And dirt. That's there mud. is Piotra, <laughs> Piotr, uh, and he is Piotr. out cold, and whatever had him is gone. Somebody please call the nurse. Hello, nurse. You know what I, I meant, Kwame. <laughs> I texted I didn't say it out loud. Because <laughs> I feel like the nurse and I are on very close terms at this point in the school year. So I just like texted her. I'm like, hey, it's Dahlia again. Um, we got it's another Dahlia. student we're going to, we need you to come get. So my question is, does Dahlia and the theater company get hurt that much that they need the nurse on standby? Or oh, no, I'm talking about us. This oh, okay, group. that's valid. <laughs> that, that tracks. Yeah. I was also thinking like the nurse is also like your physician whenever like a uh like like an audition or something needs like a like hey this the doctors know or something like saying that you are able to do this. Do, they do that? No, but I'm wondering if it happened for Dahlia. <laughs> No, that makes right. more sense. Safety squad's always there when people get hurt, and so Dahlia's just used to calling her now. I apologize for pausing this all to go in a completely different direction really fast, but is there an animal not being shown on the screen? He's already sat in a corner. No! Come here. Will you come here? Uh, we'll do it at the end. We'll do it at the end. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> As Piotr is sleeping in the dirt, and you text uh, the school nurse, who has also been texting you memes. You know, you guys, yeah. have, it's definitely one of those relationships now. It's like school nurse memes. She's still using like the little penguin that has like the multicolored background. Yeah. She's Helpful still animals. using Keanu. Yeah. Yeah. The sun begins to shine again at North Point Academy. Lennox helps her like get like he's he's got a very large burn on his chest. Uh, he's very clearly not okay, and he's like, but he's helping get Pierre set. Sweetheart, darling, <laughs> all the all the non teachers apparently have this voice. You have a little, you got a little burn. How about you come with me to the nurse's office, okay? It's a requirement to smoke three packs a day to be a teacher at the school. <laughs> to be an administrator at the very <laughs> least. Yes. Uh, while this is happening, uh, as I pick up the key, um, I kind of look over to make sure they're not looking at me. Um, uh, focus on Piotr, and I'm going to attempt to um, revert it so it doesn't activate again, like I did the first two. Oh, you want to relic it? Yep. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me power intelligence. Okay. And I also know what this could do to my body. Power intelligence? Yes, and I'm going to be making a secret roll off roll 20 real quick. Don't mind me. That was a bad roll for me. We do have one re-roll left. We do I, have a re-roll I, left. I will gank it if, if I can. Absolutely allowed. Ten. <gasps> Better than six. <laughs> Woo! You are a lucky, lucky man. And there's a puppy. Hello, dog. Oh. Kwame, you feel that feeling you have when you start to drift off to sleep. You almost have that. You manage to fight it off and you are okay. But you feel a little sick, a little tired, a little spent after that. Uh, like something you ate isn't sitting right or maybe you've gotten too much sun it just you don't feel well yep 
Um, and does it shift when I recollect the relic the shift into something else like like before? Yes. Um, this time it turns into a deer, a uh, doe skull. Okay. And I look at it. <sighs> okay, that's. And I'll go meet them. All right. Pietro Piotr is uh, put down. Yeah, I about the same thing. I about that, the same that, thing. That's His extreme. Young. That's extreme. Why Sorry, did you put kids. The new down? school policy. We just put the school <laughs> just way to euthanize him. Yes. Us. Yes. Um, no, <laughs> he is euthanize is in Y O U T H. Yeah. I'm gonna throw my mimic at you guys. Um, he is. Uh, Put in one of the nurse beds and she is going to get in contact with the North Point Hospital because this is not the first time she's seen this now. She knows it's happening. She's going to give all of you a knowing look but not say anything. Something tells me this nurse has seen more than her fair share, not just this year, but over the decades. Oh my god, I just saw the back of your chair. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? I hate it. I love it. Sure, <laughs> I want to know who I'm talking to. Okay, sorry, sorry. We're getting close to Halloween time. It's all I think about right now. Um, no, we don't talk about Halloween until September gets here. This is mm, no. I it's consider August. my birthday month to be the start of. So August is the start of. Thank you. Of Halloween. Listen, if I have to put up with Christmas Carol. Carol's in October. I get this. Yeah. Listen, I'm not saying that's okay either. <laughs> Every Every month they get their thing. And that month only. Yeah, we haven't even done Memorial Day yet. Or sorry, Labor know. Day. We have so much fun on that one. Labor Day is the one I was oh, talking God. about because that's in September. So um, what do the four of you do after that? You've defeated another Scarecrow. You are... Of the seven, uh, six are accounted for now. One of them's dead, and the other five are, you know, things. um, 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 seven. There were seven. Veloc, oh, yeah, for Phoenix, Pyman, Gap have been dealt with. You have Veloc, Pyman, Phoenix. We haven't oh. dealt. We haven't dealt with Orbis yet. I have six written down. Oh, sorry, I had the All Father under. That's valid. Okay. I was like, hold on. <laughs> of the six, I, you've dealt with five. So. And I, that's literally what Kawame, I literally, I have a, um, the names, he's how we dealt with one, I've highlighted it. Um, and I'll say, you all can tell that his breath is a little, um, a little shaky. Uh, um, okay. yeah. uh, we have dealt with five of the six. Well, that's good. We have one last key we need to find before we deal with this all father have we figured out who the all father is nope hmm. uh. oh steven in my research i would like and i can do a role for this if that's fine um to look for any being in mythology other than odin that has ever been referenced as an all father uh go ahead and give me intelligence roll oh Aki knows the answer to this. Five? No. Oh, man. Aki knows the answer to this. Ugh, I hate it. Can I go find Aki on campus? And yeah. Know. Since where Ashikari where is she? Aki where is she dying? Aki is on campus, but uh, they're, currently, a <laughs> they're currently smoking a cigarette, like running, I, I don't know. <laughs> They're leaning against the locker and and smoking a cigarette, and then you hear like, "No, funny, come on, let me out." <laughs> the professional oh, hobbit's been shoved in there. Well, like if you guys are talking about the Goetica, like that's got like all kinds of Judeo-Christian. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I like am. That, so, like, you know, the father of all nations or whatever, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I I'm thinking of that one too, but I, I'm. Hoping that it's not that. <laughs> that's what she. That, that's what Shidariaki is saying as they're like smoking their cigarettes. Like you guys are 
what's wrong with you? Why are you bothering me? Go away. Who are you talking to? Let me out of my locker. Well, Shut the fuck like, up. There's like, <laughs> there's like a couple of things wrong with me. I can't feel my arms and I can't blink my eyes at the same time. I have to that do seems it one like a time. you issue. I don't fucking care. Oh yeah, it's definitely me. I got struck by lightning. Fun. There's a hole in the my fuck shoe. Away from me. I don't like this meta moment. I don't like this meta moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You sure do curse a lot. Uh, that's what bullies fucking do. Oh, so you're it makes a seem plain bully. Yeah. I mean, have you seen Literally. me? And have you seen Mika and CB and mostly Eric walking around? You know exactly what the fuck we are. You know yeah. what I really love about this persona, Aki? What I really love about it is you don't sound like a bully. You sound like a mean YouTuber. <laughs> mean YouTuber. <laughs> Are bullies. They are I mean, you sound like one of those YouTubers who I know nothing about. I've never seen their video, but apparently they have like a hundred million subscribers, a book at Target, and now here's a two-hour video about why they're canceled. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's 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 Shidariaki tormenting poor kids. Yeah, go on, make it. All right, that's that's cool. They are obviously going through a lot right now. Two meta. Is... They are going They're through a lot. Like, what about the person in the locker? I'm, I mean, I'm used to this. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. it's okay. Doug, Doug's, Doug's fine. Doug can get cramp. We should probably, um, one, Linux, you need to rest. You just, you, uh, he like stops. You, we've dealt with a lot. We've gotten hit by things. We've gotten, you know, stumped and whatever. You just got struck by a natural element huh. that could have killed you. Yeah. At least you didn't get struck in the chest. Oh, I did. Oh, that's why. Happened. That's why. The, and there's, just, there's still just a giant hole in his shirt. You finally did it, Stephen. You managed to get it. I, you, you managed to finally hit him in the chest. Cool. The joke lives. <laughs> but you should lay down. No, the, the, the nurse yeah, won't be able to help. You just. I, yeah, okay. And he just water? starts to lean just, over. Just water? Like... No, 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 no. In your room, in your room. Oh, Kwame, okay. Can you take that him makes back... more sense. Kwame, can you take him back to his room? How much does Linny weigh? Uh, yeah, I mean, we discussed this earlier. He's he's cut, so he's like... he. So he's 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 a pretty... He's Chris not... Evans is a teenager. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like a tall guy, but I don't know, like a... Call him a, a solid... 195. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, Kwame's skinnier for sure. Uh, again, swimmers, but he has nice arms and he, super strength. And he, <laughs> like, oh, all right, come on. Kwame's turn to bridal carry. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Oh. I, I only can do this because of that damn Loki. It's Go into your room. Awesome. Are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. I mean, in, in as much as I can be with the amount of pain I'm in. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Yep, just don't focus on the pain. Focus on something else. Oh, uh, way ahead of you. And you see him, like, literally just point his finger in his mouth and just shoot liquid. That better not be what I think it is. It's 100% what he thinks it is. Like, <laughs> my... Manny kind of like has this look on their face uh, as as the two of them are walking off, uh, and then kind of looks over at Dolly and goes, "A lot happened during summer break. I don't know exactly how much, but yeah, those two are interesting." Whew, you've got a lot to catch me up on. I know I've missed you a lot. I've missed you too. Ever, everyone. I could tell that they weren't really excited for me when I got that line. They were jealous. And the whole time I was thinking if Manny was here, they would know what to say. They would know what to say to make me feel special. I'm really proud of you. See? Like that. And oh, also, when crying. you become like super, like, and, and Manny will like pull pull her close and kind of give her give her a hug. And is like, and when you become super rich and super, super famous, I know you're going to be the type of person that doesn't forget about all of their friends. No. We're Not their real friends, house, anyway. And I'm going to have enough rooms for you and Lenny and Kwame and the rest of the safety squad. And then we're going to have like a guest house and we're all going to live together. Oh. 
Okay, sure. I'm down for a, a divinity commune or whatever. I'm like my friend Jason Statham will come by because he'll 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 have been there at my start. You have to tell me more about your date with Spiro and how it went. Oh right. Oh oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is the is Dahlia going to throw a divinity party? <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, guys, we can't you can't keep doing this to me. We already have a musical episode next week. And I still Oh, is it next week? Episode. Oh shit. Okay. Maybe, cool. Maybe, 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 Let maybe. me start like mentally preparing for the fact that I'm gonna be doing oh. some singing next week. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a special karaoke episode. Oh god. Karaoke oh, oh boy. And we it's also have gun down as well. I can't sing. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be great. So, Manny, after you for. have... Hmm? This is what they paid for. Yes. Manny, after you catch up with Dahlia and you finally get back to your room that night, there's a bouquet waiting for you. Huh? It's a small bouquet. Very tiny. Like, you know, definitely local wildflowers, nothing out of the ordinary, and they don't look like they were professionally put together or anything. Huh? Like, like, man, it just kind of stands there confused, staring at the, at the bouquet in like every few seconds, just going, huh? Huh? <laughs> really could be. And then finally, like after about like a minute of this, they finally kind of move forward and like, like pick up the bouquet and kind of turn it in their hands, like trying to see if there's like a note or anything attached to it. Uh, there is a note. There is a note. It is written on a ripped piece of binder paper. Glad you're back. Miss you while you were gone. L. Huh? L? L. Oh! Aw. Can't fool me. And they go in their room. And that is where we are going to wrap this episode of Moo Pantheon Academia. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. Until I get that cease and desist, that's what the thing's going to be. Uh, I'm also the lead writer on Queers. Uh, the, the LGBT Super Sentai RPG. Uh, coming soon from Son of Oak Games. We will have that demo out soon. God damn it. I am going to make sure of it. I don't care if I'm going to start bleeding from the eyes. It's happening soon. Uh, please, and also we'll be on Kickstarter don't, soon. Don't bleed from the eyes. Blah. Um, oh, shoot, shoot. I just got a note from our from our good friend Dom Zook, who makes everything possible. We do have some school announcements before we go out. Oh. So... Before I throw it over to Eric to sign out, let's hear from Gladys. All right, kids. Uh, well, I hope everyone's staying dry from the lightning. Uh, you know, it's dangerous out there. A couple of kids got struck. You gotta watch out. Stay under the awnings. Anyways, we got some announcements. This is from, from Five Foot Latina. It says, hello, students, and welcome to the summer semester. In case you haven't already heard, Dahlia Wingrove was in a movie with Jason Statham. Uh, other than that, if you insist on attending class in swimwear, uh, please remember to put on sunscreen. Okay, thank you very much. And congratulations on that movie. You know that Statham is a good guy. Remember, take your meds if you if you need to at this time. Uh, we got another announcement from Mel Polino. Says, uh, I'd like to remind everyone that the library has a strict ban on emotional face journeys, uh, and that uh, to kindly refrain from putting. Uh, putting such expression, uh, expressive emotional vibe in the area. Thank you. Yeah, the library's for studying, not for feeling your feelings. You want Kwame feel feels called out about that one. If you want to feel your feelings, go to the bathroom like an adult. All right? That, that's it. That's all the announcements we got. That one's too also real. way too real. Too fucking oh. real. Uh, so, 
Thank you, Gladys. And thank you, mostly Eric. Uh, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can always find me, mostly Eric, on all the social medias, because uh, that's my name on all of it. Uh, and they can also check me out uh, later tonight, 7 p.m., 730 on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley, I'll be doing the Board and Barrel, which is our board game show, uh, where we, we're going to be playing some board games, and it's going to be fun. I forget what we're playing. I, I forget. I'm sure it, it it was said, and I don't remember, because I'm not good at, like, you know, looking that stuff. I just show up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, the Critical Bard, Omega Jones, where can they find you? You can find me everywhere at Critical Bard, Critical Bard across all social media channels. I'm a full time Twitch partner streamer. I do a lot in different places. Tomorrow you can catch me over on um, Into the Mist, which is Realm Smith's Crest of Straw campaign. On Friday, I will be a part of uh, DD Beyond's fourth anniversary, I believe it is. Uh, it's going to be a good time. I currently have a poll on my uh, Twitter deciding on what character I'm going to play. And it's looking like uh, it's going to be a Dampier uh, Cyanite, who is chaotic neutral. So we'll see how that works. Uh, and it's level 22, so that's going to be fun. Uh, and then uh, not much after that. So that's just, me. So just participating in the world's Biggest RPGs anniversary event. Nothing big. Hey, it's Diddy be honest. They, they, they hold it's stuff. It's not D&D. Yeah, it's a Fair platform. Enough. Fair enough. I can't believe they invented Dungeons and Dragons four years right? ago. I'm going to throw a sandal at you. They. All right. Shidari Ake, where can they find you? Uh, well, uh, Aki can be found on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, but you can catch me tomorrow night over on Q Times at 6 30 p.m. PT, where I will be playing Star Trek Adventures with the Stream Punks. Uh, That'll be some clear skies action. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. We've split the party, and Gina and I are all on our on our own while the rest of the group is doing something else. I'm guessing we're going to have guests tomorrow. I have no idea who they're going to be. Uh, so stay tuned, because uh, we have two people, and we have to fill out the rest of the cast with someone, and I don't know who that's going to be. Um, and then on Tuesday uh, is the first of the last uh, game that we're going to be playing over on Indicade uh, for RP Game Changers, and that's Good Society. Uh, it'll be Colin and myself, uh, uh, one of the creators of uh, Good Society as well, uh, who's going to be facilitating and running the game for us, as well as Mox Ruby and Erica Femina, a style pixie, who's going to be playing with us as well. It should be a lot of fun. And that's at 3 o'clock PT. I love all of that. And last but certainly not least, R.I.P. Mika, where can they find you? Hi! You can find me on any social media site at R.I.P. Mika. Um, I'm extremely hungry, so I don't really even know what to plug right now. I stream Monday to Friday. I'm about to go demolish some hot dogs. Um, I'll see you guys next Sunday. I'm so hungry. All right. Let's get some food in this girl. Get some food in her. And Special this thanks person to Dom here. Zook for running everything we need behind the scenes. Can't do it without you, buddy. And thank you for tuning in. We will be back next week with, yes, our musical episode. I don't know how this is going to work, so it should be interesting. Until then, stay safe and have a good one out there. Bye. <laughs>